Hey guys, welcome back to the second board of Mario Party. We are playing DK's Jungle Parkway today, and um, today I will be playing as Donkey Kong with Wario, Mario, and Luigi, as I promised from last episode. And I'm just selecting the characters in order of easiest, easy to hard. So this time Wario will be easy, Mario will be normal, and Luigi will be hard. Jungle Park- oh, I mean Jungle Adventure, not Jungle Parkway. I don't even know what board I'm supposed to be playing. Or the name, actually. Okay, this board is fairly easy. There is one spot in the entire board that is a little bit hard to get the star. But other than that, it's it's a fairly simple board. The star does move on does move positions every time you somebody grabs one. So um it's not as easy as the first board, but it's not as hard. And again I go first. I hope I don't go first all the time. This is just a rare occurrence. I don't know why that happened. And then this toad is going to show us where the first star is, and he's way over there on the left side of the board. And we start way on the right side. On this board, uh, there are these uh, wombs that block the pathway. Every time you go in the direction that they're not blocking, for instance, Wario's doing right now, he is the thwomp, The womp will move in the direction that you uh, go in. If you cross his path and you want to pass him, you have to pay 10 coins. So in this case, the Wario, a Luigi is paying 10 coins to cross. The womp will move back to whichever direction you go. So in this case, he went back. Um, blocking the top direction. On this board, the question mark spaces creates a boulder that rolls across the a certain path. Anyone who crosses that path goes right back to where Luigi is right now. So if you can, just try to avoid the question marks as much as possible. So our first game for this board is Coin Block Blitz. I, we have played this game before. It's all about collecting the coins from the question mark blocks. So, fairly easy one. And so, let me just talk really quickly about why this video is so late. Um, first of all, everyone knows that from the last video that American Idol was on this week. And um, overall, it was not a bad show. There was a, there was some good performances. About a third of the performances were good. A third of the performances were mediocre, and third or okay. And the third of the performances were bad. And um, to me, what really got this pro this project held back was what happened on results night. I was livid on the results. I definitely didn't see it coming, definitely didn't expect what was going to happen this week, and uh, I think I don't agree with the results at all. The bottom three this week was Pia, Stefano, and Jacob, none of which were in my bottom three, and this, okay, let's get to back to this game. Um, the next game we're going to play is Tipsy Attorney, it's a very easy game. Very easy game. Um, the com the hard computers are pretty tough on this one. And uh, what I would do for this one is just go around the outer edge and try to get all the the square tiles to uncover the coin picture. And um, it takes some practice to get this one down to T. In this case, I missed one right there. Um, the hard computers, which is Luigi in this board. They're pretty good at uh, uncovering the blocks, so if you're not like 
if you don't get it on the first or second try, it's going to be very hard to win this one against a hard computer. In this case, I didn't get it. And um, not much is going on on this board so far. Anyways, yeah, Pia, Stefano, and Jacob were in the bottom three. And Pia went home. Now, I don't... I don't even know have words to say about that. Because I thought her performance this week was really good, actually. She was one of the top three of the, of the week. Um, oh, the next game we're going to play is Grab Bag. Um, this one is... Interesting. <laughs> the goal of this game is to grab the bag that's that each person is holding and try to take some of the coins that they have. Every time you take it, every time you take coins, you can take as many as five at a time or you can take one at a time. And depending on how how much you wiggle free, um, will depend on how many coins you lose. So if you don't wiggle very hard like I did right there, which is bad, um, You'll lose more coins. You'll lose a lot of coins, five at a time. But if you if you wiggle somewhat, you'll get a one coin. And if you wiggle a lot, then you'll get no no coins from them. I should say the opponent if they wiggle that much. Um, it's not a it's a very long game actually. In this case, you know, it's kind of balanced so far. The hard computers are very relentless um, on this game. It's very hard to get away from them and lose. In this case, I lost a lot of coins because Luigi and Mario are pretty strong. So it's not a it's not a very easy game. If you have easy com if you have easy computers, it's very easy to get. 30 or 40 but if you have hard computers it's very hard because their grip is really hard they'll punch the buttons really fast and it'll take a lot from you so anyways back to I'm gonna just briefly talk about it I was just livid about the results I can't I couldn't believe what happened Bowser minigame <sighs> great <laughs> great and um, I didn't feel like it was very necessary for me to, you know, post another video of me talking about it when I was angry about the results, you know. I had a couple days to cool off and, you know, try to you know, hold back and not try to get angry at people. So we're playing facelift right now, and the goal is just to make the face in the middle look like your face. And then, since this is a Bowser mini game, we need to make sure that we score 90 or better. And uh, the maximum is 100. That's if you perfectly match the face, the face to the middle face. And um, the lowest you can get is zero. Um, computers are kind of dumb on this one. They'll keep moving around the face, the pieces of the face. In this case, I got 100, but Luigi got a bad score. So Luigi will lose 10 coins for results. And um, it's, very, it's just whoever loses coins. Whoever loses, loses coins. In this case, Luigi. So yeah. I was just really, really upset about the results. I, I couldn't stand that. That's why I had to take a couple of days off. Because I can't do a playthrough and talk at the same time while I have that on my chest. It's not. And it's not because I don't want to play a, do a playthrough. It's because you know I don't think you guys want to hear me upset and all raging. <laughs> raging about the fact that Pia was gone and then the horrific performance Paul gave stayed. Can't believe that. So 
that are playing Coin Block Bash. Fairly easy. Like I said, um, the best um, way to win this game is to let the hammer person do the work and just grab the coins while. In this case, that, that's what exactly what I try to do and steal every single coin that you possibly can. You, and on easy mode, they won't even try to hit you really well, so you should be fine. In this case, I got quite a bit. You know, you can get a lot from this if you steal enough. So I'm not doing too badly. I think I'm gonna get the star on this turn. The only problem is I have to pay ten coins, which I'm not, which I hate. But it's all worth it if it, to get a star. So yeah, that was idle. I don't think I'll ever be this angry ever again. I will. I've never been this angry s since Melinda Doolittle was voted out in season six. Her elimination was kind of horrible. It should have been her and Jordan in the final two. I think those are the two best singers of the season. Those are the two that should have been in the bot in the top. And uh, by the way, if you hit the question mark and nobody's in the roadway, then nothing will happen. So, but I'm I'm pretty sure if Pia gets a gets something, a deal very soon, and uh, she'll be fine. Mario's gonna hit a warp block here. And a question mark. Oh no. <laughs> he basically screwed Luigi here. Gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Mario. So I think. Thanks, Mario. They're supposed to be working together as a team, but they're not. Okay. So the next game we're going to play is Bumper Balls. Great. Balls. <laughs> I hate I hate this game when it's on hard. I can never win it. They're always so strong. I know. Come on. They'll try to knock out. Well, Wario goes. He's the weakest. They're all ganging up on me now. And Luigi should have fell off there. Dang. Computers are doing a very good job this this time around. Winning these mini games because last round they were doing horrible. This time they're doing much better. <sighs> so, anyways, I don't think I'll ever be this angry again this season. There's nobody really that like I'm that attached to this season after Pia. So I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. I'll get over it eventually. Hopefully, someday. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna play our next board player mini game, and we're and it's mus and it's okay mushroom mix up. <laughs> All right, my favorite game. Color flags and mushrooms and. Dots. And people falling into the water. <laughs> oh gosh. Gosh, I wonder who's gonna draw falling first. Oh, <laughs> well, Mario was about ready to fall in first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, he fell in. <laughs> And that's why you don't jump on top of other people's heads. A warrior escape that one. If he hits a... What is it? Light blue? <laughs> bye bye warrior. He didn't even move. He's so stupid. Which is doing pretty well. I think this won't be it, yeah. See, the, the computers are pretty good on this board. On this 
mini game, I should say. But uh, eventually they'll just give in because it goes too fast, and sometimes they'll get lucky, but sometimes it's not common. So we're gonna play our Bowser mini game again, <laughs> of course. Now what? Oh, Bloom Burst. Okay, that's not that hard. 